Have you ever been in the office or maybe at a coffee shop and just wished you could turn off the people next to you? Whatever they're discussing is either irrelevant or unimportant or possibly just annoying to you, and sometimes it's all three. We can get caught in this even when it comes to email, if we've been included in a series of messages that, for whatever reason, we don't want to be part of. With email, we can't just walk away or tune it out, though. The real issue is that these messages are going to come into our inbox or other mail folders, and we have to deal with them somehow. Even if it's just to sigh and then hit delete, it still takes effort and time on our part. Well, Outlook comes to our aid, kind of like a person who might interrupt a conversation to pull us away, even though there isn't really anything that's an emergency that needs our attention. You know what I'm talking about. It's actually a simple command in Outlook called ignore, and it's found in the delete group of the home tab. This option prevents any additional replies that may be included in incoming mailbox messages and moves the entire conversation to the deleted items folder with a simple click. It doesn't block any particular senders, just that conversation thread. So in this case, Michael has been receiving messages about annual reports. There used to be a lot of messages. He simplified it by cleaning up the conversation. But now he realizes that this entire thread has nothing to do with him. First of all, he's new to the company, and the annual reports are about last year, and he wasn't even part of the company then. Furthermore, Aaron and Susan have started bantering back and forth about lunch, and that he really doesn't care about. So by selecting the conversation, moving up to the delete group in the home tab and choosing ignore, we're prompted to say that this action is going to apply to all of the items in the selected conversation. That's regardless of folder. We'll say thank you very much for telling us that. That's exactly what we want to do. And we'll click or tap OK. It reminds us one more time that the selected conversation and any future messages are going to be moved to deleted items. Notice it doesn't say that they're permanently going away. So if at some point this conversation became relevant again, Michael could always go back to deleted items and recover those messages. But at this point, he really doesn't want to be part of it, so we'll click or tap Ignore Conversation. The message goes away from the inbox and all the other folders, is safely stored over in Deleted Items until we remove them from there, and he can go on with his day without having to further worry about lunch or annual reports. The Ignore command is simple, it's sweet, and it does exactly what we need it to do, which is to cut down on unnecessary chatter in our mailbox. Don't we wish sometimes that some of the conversation we've had to bear with in real life had an ignore option that we could use as well?